This is Wednesday Night Football, and I'm Brett Hoxie. If you've wandered around EDFF this week or just generally watched any NFL game, you'll notice there's a lot of injuries. Here are my week three waiver wire pickups. Uh, first off, moving to quarterbacks, we've got Ryan Fitzpatrick of the Jets. Um, he's got a great rushing with Matt Forte and a great combination of uh, receivers with uh, Eric Decker and Brandon Marshall. Expect those numbers to keep going. Second is Dak Prescott. He's yet to throw a touchdown, but he hasn't thrown an interception yet. So also expect those numbers to get better as well. And remember, he's protected by that amazing O-line. Moving on to running backs, I suggest Charles Sims with the Bucks. Some people may have seen this one early, but Sims seems to be out there in a lot of leagues. Uh, next is Christine Michael of the Seahawks. Michael Johnson has been tracking Michael for like three or four years now, and we all gave him a bunch of crap. But, you know, the joke's on us because I expect uh, Christine Michael to be doing very well in the coming, uh, coming games. Uh, third, we have... Dwayne Washington of the Lions, uh, with Abdullah out, expect Washington to be the feature back. Uh, moving down the line, Kenneth Dixon, Baltimore Ravens. He's a great rookie coming off of injury, hasn't played yet. Uh, Ravens, Forsett, and West have been have had weak yards per rush, so it may not take a lot for him to, them to be unseated. People I would stay away from would be anything RBVC, and if you don't know what that is, that's rushing uh, running back by committee. Uh, that's your Jarek McKinnon, Matt Asiata in Minnesota, your Fozzie Whitaker and, and uh, Cameron Artis Payne in Carolina, or just anything in Miami. Just stay away from Miami. Um, trying to save you the headache of picking one of them up and then watching another one of them that you didn't pick up, like, go go off. Um, another one you could probably pick up is Sean Vron. Uh, Carlos Hyde tends to get hurt a little bit. Um, and... You know, he just had that fumble. So another valuable uh, handcuff that could prove useful in the future. You know, wide receivers, I got Tyrell Williams of uh, the Chargers. Um, Williams actually caught me off guard and came to my attention courtesy of Tyler Lopez. Uh, great college footage. Probably the best thing to come to San Diego, in my opinion, for a while. Um, and, you know, coming up, he's got the Colts, the Saints, the Raiders. Mm. You could also go for Travis Benjamin, uh, which would seem like the more obvious choice, but I would pick up uh, Williams. Some more wide receivers, Victor Cruz. Uh, some people hate him, some people love him. Um, this is an example of a great player that's shadowed by a dominant wide receiver one. Cruz is one of these. Expect more great games, uh, almost like the old Cruz, and as OBJ gets swamped with the coverage. We got Quincy Una. We got Quincy Unumwa of the Jets. This guy has dropped one ball and has 146 yards and a touchdown of two games. And with Marshall possibly going out for some uh, some time, expect Unumwa to kind of take over that role. Uh, another guy, Sammy Coates for the Steelers. This is another case of a decent back, uh, kind of stealing sunshine from a dominant back like Brown. Uh, Philip Dorsett with the Colts. He's going to probably step into Moncrief's shoes uh, pending uh, Moncrief's absence. Finally, I'd probably pick up uh, Mike Wallace for the Ravens because duh, I've seen him out there in the, the waivers in a couple of leagues. Um, Flacco's going to keep throwing the ball to him. He's fast, and he's going to catch the ball in coverage. Finally, with tight ends, we got Kyle Rudolph for the Vikings. Bradford's going to check back down to him probably every other play, and every time he's in the red zone, you're, you're, I can guarantee Rudolph's going to get a ball. Look for his production to go up even, uh, even more with AP going down. Uh, we got Jesse James with the Steelers. Ben lost his favorite tight end with Miller, but now he has the 6'7 James to run slants and throw blocks. Uh, ben likes to throw his ball around, so expect Jesse James' uh, uh, numbers to go up. Uh, Dwayne Allen is out in a bunch of leagues, which is really surprising. I think all of us at EDFF have had Dwayne Allen up in the rankings. Um, pick him up before someone else in your leagues, and, and someone else in your league gets wise and picks him up. Finally, uh, Vance McDonald, 49ers. Gabbert's apparent apparently favorite blanket right now. He's going to check down to him all the time. So you know what? Find him in your league, cuddle up to him, and uh, hope he wins some games for you. That's all for Wednesday Night Football. I'm Brett.